Good morning, I'm Ms. Kaufman, the art teacher at LCM High School, and I'm in my advanced class right now. These three girls are working in their sketchbooks, which are actually old books that they're using for sketchbooks. Um, if you come over here, we've got four girls working on a contest, and we'll paint around and see them in just a minute. I'm gonna start with art one. These, this is art one work from this year. They've learned how to do a cartooning technique and learned how to shape faces, and eventually later in the year, we're gonna get into realistic. If you are in Art 1, you will have a supply list that you have to get the supplies on the supply list. I try to recycle as much as I can, but you will be responsible for buying some supplies. You will be responsible for a binder. We work off of a bare buck system. I'm going to teach you how to letter. That's what they're learning how to do right now is learn how to letter. So we work off of a bare buck system. I will explain that to you if you're in my class. Here's a student's binder that I keep in classes. And these are the supplies that you need. They're working on lettering right now. They learned how to draw and shade a bear. They did a collage. And then we do daily warm-ups, and our warm-ups are on this backboard back here. All right, and again, she's working on a contest piece right now. In art two, and three and four, so this is art two, you also have a supply list, and you're responsible for bringing paints to contribute to the class you're gonna have to have your own black and white paint to use. Please, no glossy, no glossy. You're gonna have to bring your paint brushes. When you bring all of this, then I reward you with a really nice, fine paint brush. All right, here are some more examples of these books that we use for sketchbooks that people paint on and they draw in, and they're really kind of fun for the students to use. All right, in art two this year, that was their first painting. They learned how to paint a ladybug, and then they moved on to a fish. Um, they all painted the same like outline of a fish, but they got to put their own colors and decorations in it. And then we are now learning how to paint a cube, cone, cylinder, and sphere realistically. And they've applied some of the things that they know about painting. And this is art two. Art three and four. Um, this is rodeo work from this year. These are pieces that went to the rodeo. The best of show and gold medal are still there. This was our gold medal winner, and she's in the middle of a... I'm sorry, she was best to show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she was best to show winner, and she she's now working on a piece for the contest at the Stark Museum, and look how pretty. And she's working in colored pencil, so you have to work learn how to work in colored pencil the correct way, which obviously she is. We have these two students over here that are also in the contest, and they're painting on theirs. And again, this is a contest. So when you're in art three and four, you do a lot of contests. There's protege, there's rodeo, there's Stark Museum, there's the Law Day contest in Beaumont. So we have lots of contest pieces. If you come back this way, we also have students that are working on some furniture in here. They're learning, they're taking their painting skills and applying them to furniture. So this was for a contest, and then she's just having fun learning how to use her painting skills on furniture. And so she's just at the very beginning. So this is the, the, the foundation of her painting with chalk paint. Thank you. Okay.